Good afternoon, everyone, and where else will I be than on this Friday afternoon, June 28th, and we are going down the bio. This is the opening day for Tiana's Bayou Adventure right here at the Magic Kingdom. We're coming to you from the Transportation and Ticket Center. We joined the virtual queue this morning. I had work all day, so I could not make it for the morning festivities, so I don't know what the day entails because the crowd looked insane, but we got boarding group 60, which was called uh, roughly about a little over an hour ago. I don't know. We'll, we'll see if they let us on. If not, we've already ridden the ride during cast member previews, so uh, we've been on the ride before, but let's head on into the park and go check this one out because I'm very excited for uh, <laughs> uh, to go and ride the ride one more time. And of course, no trip to Magic Kingdom is complete without at least starting off your day on the monorail. Oh yeah, look at that. Tiana on the front of the park map today. Look at that, number 25 on the park map. Where is it? Right there, new Tiana's Bayou Adventure. Let's check out some of this merchandise though. So after making my rounds in the store, not too many things piqued my fancy or caught my eye, but I did, however, pick up the ride vehicle toy that they have for Tiana's Bayou Adventure. It looks more like the Splash Mountain over at um, Disneyland in California, what their ride vehicles look like. But you got some of the characters on it. Uh, super cool. Um, my one gripe with like this, uh, the model they went with the, for, for the toy, if you look in the front, if it'll focus, Right there, if you look on the front of the vehicle, there's still a rabbit, like it's rare rabbit or something, uh, left over from like Splash Mountain. So that's interesting, that's a choice. Uh, but let's head on over, I think I want to take the railroad now, and see what changes they made to that, now that we can look directly into the mountain once again. <laughs> I was just a young fella on Main Street with a balloon in my hand and a wish in my heart that someday I'd be the conductor of this train. And wouldn't you know it, with a bit of gumption and a dash of magic, here I am. Catch a ride on its runaway trains and you'll see why. On a more musical note, just ahead, Princess Tiana is striking up the band for her big party. She made me promise to tell you folks, you're invited. We've reached Frontier Band Station at once. Sit down. Hold those horses until we come to a complete stop. If it isn't possible, please carry your strollers all the way off the platform before I go. Watch the tip now. This is Frontier Land Station. All right, and so we made it to Tiana's Bayou Adventure. We are heading on in. Allowed to wait in the All right, thanks so much. Hard to tell on camera, but it is starting to rain. Hopefully this doesn't put a damper on things and they can still keep the ride up and running. 
over here, Dom put on his uh, rain jacket. I don't have any rain protection, unfortunately. Uh, because this is an outdoor attraction, it's possible that it could uh, shut down the ride for weather. We do know that it already experienced some downtime today for rain. Um, so hopefully that doesn't happen. It's starting to pick up a little bit. And we are almost to the barn where the indoor section of the queue is. So hopefully they can keep the ride up and running for us. It's coming down really hard now. Sorry I couldn't really film the queue, but we have made it to the first indoor scene of the queue. You gotta reference the Splash Mountain up there on the shelf. Yeah, it's coming down pretty hard. Yeah. You can smell the beignets right up here. Oh yeah. So Dom was just saying, uh, there's salt crystals all up and down this part of the mine, heading up down to the attraction. They uh, added some windows right here. I believe this used to be all open, where you can see directly into the load station for the ride, but now they added some windows, some uh, stained glass windows to see into the ride. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> Is this the ride? <laughs> Must be. Oh. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I'm not ready. Oh my god. But we are soaking wet, to say the least. Not even from the ride, from the the typical Florida weather. Oh, what did they have, Lori? Is that Lori? I forget his name. Yeah, Lori the Armadillo. <laughs> the smell? Yeah. The gift shop is open. Uh, here at the exit of the ride. They got a nice photo op actually right there with Mama Odie. It looks like they removed most of the merchandise and just 
put some nice photo ops for the ride, which is fine. Um, there wasn't, you know, there wasn't a whole lot of room to work with before, but they are gonna move most of the merchandise for the ride to Critter Op, Critter Co-op, uh, when that opens after the opening day hype dies down. So I get why they're not using the space really for merchandise. Okay, and literally one of the last guests to get off the ride, they shut down Kiana's Bayou Adventure for weather. Uh, super fortunate, that was a wet experience, if I do say so myself. Um, that was really fun. This is, well, both of our second time riding it. Um, that was a great time, don't, what do you say? Yeah. I got soaked. Oh yeah, we are like drenching head to toe right now, but still. A great ride. Uh, come and check it out. Beyond Bayou Adventure. Unfortunately, it sucks with the whole virtual queue. Um, that's just the way that theme park attractions seem to open nowadays, at least here at Disney. Uh, so bear with it. Be nice to cast members. Um, and just, you know, hopefully the virtual queue won't stay that long. I don't think it, they're planning on keeping it around more than like a month for this ride at least. Um, you still got to make one for Tron and of course Guardians of the Galaxy if you're heading to Epcot. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Here's everyone waiting out underneath the train station until it reopens. Uh, well, um, yeah, that's gonna do it from a very wet and rainy uh, Magic Kingdom. Basically all we did was come and we rode Tiana's Bayou Adventure. Now if you are only cynical because you miss Splash Mountain and Br'er Rabbit, of course you're not gonna like the new ride. That's just how you're gonna be. If you come in with a negative attitude, of course you're not gonna like anything new, um, but you have to come in with a positive mindset and I swear you are gonna love and fall in love with this attraction. It is a beautiful attraction. The music is catchy. That's all I really wanted. Um, all I really wanted was some catchy soundtrack uh, as you're going through the bayou and they deliver on that. It's a great ride. Trust me, you're gonna have a lot of fun and at the end of the day, Maybe it's just not for you. Maybe uh, you're a middle-aged man complaining about everything you know that is new and um, more modern here at the parks. But I mean, Tiana's Bayou Adventure, definitely come and check it out. It is a great attraction, phenomenal. There's a few small nitpicks I have, mostly with the screens. I wish they had put animatronics there. Yeah, I know I would have liked to have the villain from the film as they're going up the lift to the main drop. Uh, like everyone has been talking about. I understand that wasn't the case and they probably, uh, because it is a new story taking place after the original film, obviously they uh, decided not to go that route. And it still was just a fun ride. It feels like a fun little journey down the bayou. Um, as you're singing along, it's a very catchy tune the whole way. Uh, so guys, come check out Tiana's Bayou Adventure right here at the Magic Kingdom and for West Coasters over there, soon to be Disneyland. You know, for opening day, uh, I think it went smoothly. We showed up, um, they let us on with our boarding group, and we were one of the last guests on before it shut down for weather. But guys, that's gonna do it from here on Park Twister for another episode. Of course, stay tuned for more. We got a lot planned on the way, and I will see you in the next one, guys. Take care.